Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at SSD. In this episode specifically, we're asking the question, what is SSD? Well, SSD is short for Solid State Drives. Solid State Drives are a technology that replaces old school hard drives inside a notebook or other sort of devices that use storage of some sort. The old school drives were mechanical in nature. They had a spinning platter and a head that went back and forth and read bits on the surface of the magnetic uh, platters inside the hard drives. Inside solid state drives, we use flash memory technology. Now you're probably already familiar with flash memory from inside USB key storage devices or inside the cards like Secure Digital that come inside your digital camera. Now the storage devices inside your notebook computer are moving from mechanical to flash memory based devices like SSD for a few different reasons. Number one, in typical use, flash memory tends to run much faster than mechanical drives. With the mechanical drives, you have a spinning platter, and there's latency, or a little bit of a wait time, every time you wait for the platter to come around to the right place where the bit of data is. With flash memory, it's instant access to any of the bits of data that are already on here, which means that you can get access to the data much faster than you can with the mechanical drive in most cases. This can also mean much faster boot time in a lot of cases. So if you have a machine that needs to be booted up in a hurry with an old school mechanical drive, it might take a long time, whereas with flash, it'll take a fraction of the time. We saw that recently at CES in Vegas when we saw a boot up of a flash drive based MacBook Air versus a mechanical drive. Now one of the other key advantages of flash memory based devices like SSD over the old mechanical ones is these ones can be actually a lot smaller than the mechanical counterparts. That's because these ones have spinning devices inside and a read write head and a little motor that kicks things around whereas these are just electronics. Now typically you'll see devices like this at about the same size when you're using them as replacement because you need to fit into the same spot in the notebook computer where this one came out of without it rattling around but these devices can actually be much, much smaller than these ones, which means that a new generation devices, when they're designed around the solid state drives, not inside cases designed to replace these, can be actually a lot smaller. Another benefit of the fact that there's no moving parts like in the old mechanical drives is these ones actually can run a lot cooler because there isn't the power required to spin up a platter and to move a, a motor around and uh, move the head around to get to the right place and this is all just strictly retrieval electronically speaking it can actually run a lot cooler so while there is a little bit of heat generated it's nowhere near the amount of heat generated by spinning up a platter like this to 7200 RPM. It takes a lot of energy. The other thing is it also takes a lot less power to do that because again there's no moving parts and you don't have to keep powering up the drive. One other benefit of the lack of mechanical parts like you'd seen in old school hard drive is the lack of susceptibility to damage when you're dropping the device. If you drop a device like a notebook computer with a mechanical drive inside it while it's running or reading and writing the head is over top of the platter and when you drop it it can actually damage the surface of the disk and actually make it unusable. When you have a device like this that's all electronic it still can be damaged when you drop it, but it's less susceptible to that kind of damage to the physical media. It actually has a lot more ability to recover from that sort of thing. Now, if you've done any shopping on SSD drives, you'll notice that one of the downsides is they do tend to be much more expensive per capacity. So if you have a 128 gigabyte drive on both sides of the equation, the mechanical drive will be a lot less expensive at this point. That's coming down from where it used to be, but still there is a price premium on SSD drives at this point. Another big downside for the moment is that the drives that you see in the SSD space are lower capacity than the ones you'll see in the mechanical space. You have drives in the mechanical space of one terabyte or more. You can see drives of that capacity inside SSD, but they're insanely expensive. So to get the best bang for your buck, you still want to go for mechanical. If you're looking for performance, you do want to go SSD, but you will be limited in terms of space on the drive, most likely, unless you have an astronomical budget. That's worth noting that flash memory technology uses little cells inside that spin between one and zero using an electrical charge, and they can only be flipped back and forth so many times. So that means that a flash memory drive, at a certain point, those bits will stop flipping and the drive will become less useful. The capacity will start to go down and down and down and down. Of course, mechanical drives fail eventually as well. When they do fail often, they do fail completely, so you don't get access to any of the data on the drive anymore without expensive recovery. With SSD, it's just a gradual decline in most cases until the drive doesn't have enough storage needs for you anymore. That's it for what is SSD. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we'll show you how you can upgrade to an SSD drive on your notebook, and we'll also show you how to upgrade the new MacBook Air that has a solid state drive already built in. For show notes on this and the other parts in the series, don't forget to check out butterscotch.com.